the secular church and the sacred church. God bless you. Hope y'all are doing well as we give God the honor, the glory, and all the praise. Y'all know oftentimes I love when y'all ask me questions and you know I don't dodge no questions. But don't be mad. Let me say this out of love. Don't be mad at the response, the answer that I give you. Because y'all know me by now, I don't bite my tongue. I don't sugarcoat the word of God. And I know by this title alone, the secular church and the sacred church, a lot of people have already looked at the title and they wouldn't dare click on this video. I'm talking about a lot of religious folks. Now I want to give a shout out to my man, Big G. Big G asked me a question. And then I answered it. Big G, God bless you. Hope you, you know, doing well. And Big G, let me let me say this, and to anybody else who's looking, I hope that we are intelligent enough and respectful enough to agree to disagree without having a fallout. So you're not going to hear about me having no fallout. If I don't agree with certain things, hey, life goes on. I don't love you no less. But I'm about to say some things in this video that most churches that we know are going to hate. And you can hate me all you want. I still love you. So, Big G also said that everybody who sings secular music are of the devil. Are of the devil. That's all they're doing is, you know, worshiping the devil. All top Big G, love you, but I highly disagree with that. And I'm going to tell you why throughout this video. This is why this term secular, it, it, it gets on my nerve. When you're not going to find the word secular in the Bible, no way. We, we like to say secular, you know, are they worldly? We understand what it means. But we also understand God is the creator. But we also understand that everybody is not of God. And a lot of people are of the devil. But to say that all people who sing secular music are the devil, I got to highly disagree with that. That's why I want to use this title, because I want to ask y'all a question. What type of church are you sitting in right now? Secular church or a sacred church? I'm talking about these buildings now. And to those who don't go to church and you're in the body of Christ, you're on the right track. God bless you. I'm not here to condemn you and put you in hell because you're not going to church. That's between you and God. I don't have no heaven or hell to put nobody. I'm trying to get there myself to make it in them pearly gates. And we do so much keeping people out of the church because of tradition and religion that it seems like hardly nowadays it's impossible to get people to get in the church. I was just looking at Mitty Man's video. He was talking about law, the law and grace. Powerful video. We got all this debate now, but not to jump off and all that. Go check out Mitty Man's video. G says, oh, this is hitting me hard, this title. Secular Church and Sacred Church. All people who sing secular music are of the devil. They don't know the Lord. He says that secular artists who sing gospel music, they ain't anointed. And Big G, let me say this also. Don't let what you see growing up and what you still see now, don't let that make you think that everybody is of the devil. That's just like me saying all pastors are bad pastors. Or uh, all pastors are about God's business because we all know it's some fake folks out here. Fake pastors, fake singers, fake people, period. So I can't say that everybody is of the devil. That would be a foolish statement for me to make. Now, I'm just talking about me now. I'm not calling you no fool. I say that's a foolish statement for me to make. And when I think about what's going on now and has been going on for years, I look at this showing out we got now. But you said secular artists who sing gospel music, 
they are not anointed. And they only just doing it to be doing it. So they can get certain people's attention. They don't know the Lord. Secondly, artists are just singing for a show. Now, brother, I'm going to be real with you. I would be very careful saying who don't know the Lord. I would be very careful calling certain people a devil when I don't know them personally, for sure. I would be very careful who I'm putting my mouth on. Because it's so easy for us to judge a person on their outer appearance. That's what we do. But God, he get past this and looks at the heart. A lot of people say Whitney Houston didn't know the Lord. She wasn't anointed. I highly disagree. I believe Whitney Houston knew the Lord very well. Knew the Lord very well. And she was very powerful, very anointed. Now she just like the rest of us. She was dealing with some things in life that was getting the best of her. Do that mean she didn't know the Lord? Nope. That means she was a struggling child of God. To say Whitney Houston was just a devil, somebody need to slap the hell out of me if I would say that. That's just like me calling everybody I know a devil because just because they're not fighting with drugs and, and, and certain other things, they're fighting with other stuff. They're fighting with committing adultery. They fighting with their flesh. They fighting with fornication. They they fighting with some types of sin. So that means all of us are of the devil. So I can't I can't make statements like that because I am a child of God and I have shortcomings. I struggle. Do that mean I'm I'm all about Satan? I'm a, I'm, I'm I'm for Satan? No. That just letting me know that I'm recognizing that I'm in the flesh. And I'm not perfect, but I don't walk around using grace and mercy as a license to sin, like a lot of people are doing. Now, I wanted to say that because the reason I want to say you got to be very careful with saying this, keep in mind my title, Secular Church and Sacred Church. Which one are you sitting in? Which one are you sitting in? Now, I'm finna get real. Y'all know me. Just because people are not singing inside of the quote unquote the church building, and they might be singing at a restaurant or singing in a club over here, doing R and B right there, or even rap, old school, funk. How do you know they personal relationship? We God when it's personal. Now I'm not even gonna get into this mess I hear so much about secular music and singers and musicians because y'all know I have done many videos on that. If you want to see them, they on her, check them out. Y'all know I'm not religious, I am spiritual. Very big difference between being religious and spiritual. Jesus was spiritual. The religious folks was the Pharisees. Jesus didn't match up with the Pharisees. Jesus had a better relationship with sinners than he did with the Pharisees. I'm not religious. And I don't go around putting people in hell because, oh, she's singing in the club. He listening to R&B. He had a sip of wine. I let the judges do that because they're going to get a great rude awakening on who really going to be the real judge in the long run. So you do what you do is between you and God. When the truth be told, we all got her hmm, through sex. Having sex. My mom and daddy was, was bumping and grinding. And it wasn't off Amazing Grace. Mom and dad, if y'all looking at this video, God bless you. Y'all know we talk about this all the time. See, JT didn't get, get her off of Amazing Grace and Father, I stretched my hands. It was some it was some R and B going on. It was some Isley Brothers being sung. It was some, some Al Green. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let the church say, man, keep it real and stop all this fake stuff. Am I saying that to say that, oh, that was a bad influence? No, my mom and dad is married. My mama have been married to the same man for over 40 years now. She don't have 
no baby daddy over here. My daddy don't have this and don't have that. So I'm saying it to say I'm proud of my parents. They still together. And I treasure that. I honor that. And I want to be the same way. I don't want all this over there. They play good music and they still play good music and they dance and they have fun and they still know who the Lord is and they showed us, don't be religious, be spiritual, have fun. This is what's wrong with so many people. Can't have fun in life. I'm talking about good, clean fun. But didn't mean to take it there. Let me leave that alone. I just wanted to just make that point again because you got religious people and you got spiritual people. Then you got people don't know, they don't have a clue on who they are and what they want to be. So when it comes to talking about this secular music, I'm going to tie it in with this secular church. Now look at how many people, men and women, started out in the church singing, playing instruments. And then it's a problem when they leave the church and then they want to quote unquote call them secular now. Now all of a sudden since they left the building, they don't know God. But notice what I'm saying. I didn't say they left the body of Christ. I said they left a building. See a building, people, that if you got a building without people, you just got a building standing up. That's why people make up the body of Christ. From all over, it don't matter what color you are. Who you are. If you believe in God, you are in the body of Christ. If you are doing things, doing the Father's will, God bless you. You my brother or you my sister. Whether you're yellow, black, red, Japanese, Chinese, Phenomenes, Philip, I don't care what the, what the title is. God is not a respectable person. So you got to be careful when you're saying secular artists don't know God. Christ got on the cross for all of us. People are so quick to talk about you when they really don't know you. And even when some know you, they still going to talk about you. When I hear Stevie Wonder sing the old gospel song, I Won't Complain, you know what I hear? I hear how anointed his voice is. How powerful his voice is. The man who cannot even see. Who knows God has a relationship with God. So if I see Stevie Wonder singing superstitious and then he turns around and saying, I won't complain. Now all of a sudden I'm going to say, oh man, he's singing the devil's music. Come on, y'all. Let's be real. So can a secular artist be anointed? They are anointed. What you have to understand is that God gives gifts without repentance. And what you have to understand is that God, from day one, gave us free will. You got free will, so that means you can go play at the church. You can go play at the club. You can go be in the band over here. You can do whatever you want to do. It's between you and God. Get your own understanding. But understand that you got free will. And it's good reasons, very good reasons, why people leave the church buildings. Woo, I know I done lost a lot of folks. Now, some people done got tired of looking at this video. Because once again, just because a person sings an R&B song don't mean they have lost it all and don't know who Christ is. This is what kills me. A man, a husband, who got a voice can sing a beautiful love song to his wife that's all about love. And some religious folks going to turn right around and put that man in hell and saying he's singing the devil music and this man is singing to his wife. I get put in hell all the time because I'm playing ribbons in the sky. Or I'm playing some, some Jeffrey Osborne or some Barry White or some Luther. I'm going to hell because I'm playing at a wedding. Y'all see how stupid this is. So when you think about all the singers at church, everybody in the house of God is not singing to God. Ooh, I just pissed somebody off again. Last time I checked, God is love. And God created marriage. God designed sex. So what's wrong with sex? We know what's wrong when it's being done the wrong way. So when you say people 
who are secular don't know God, I will be very careful with saying something like that. Well, JT, I hear you, but man, they out there in the world, Doc. They need to be repenting. Same thing you can say for the church. Look at how many people in the house of God need to repent. But see, I'm not on here to say some people are better than others. I'm here to say we all got something wrong with us. We all got shortcomings. So stop trying to point here and point there and make yourself look higher than the next man when you sit in the church horn around. When you sit in the church lying. When you sit in the church as a faithful deacon and all this you claim to be and you messing around on your wife. If you are all this perfect like you claim to be, you don't need the Lord. I'm not taking up for nobody. I'm just spreading the truth. When you got churches now that have became secular, oh, let me take it down. Y'all going back to my title. See, now I'm finna get deep with the title of this video. I want to say all that up front first because I want to get into these secular churches. You got churches now that are more secular than sacred. Uh-oh. Ouch, JT. Stop talking about my church. I'm not trying to talk about you. I'm talking the truth. The best way to recognize the secular is to be familiar with the sacred. So I'm, about, I'm, I'm like Pastor Leonard. We, we about to deal with this down here. We're going to teach this. Let me say that again. Let me bag back up because I don't want to go too fast. The best way to recognize the secular is to be familiar with the sacred. See, all of us done been in the world before. We all done did something unpleasing to God. See, I know how it is to be drunk. I know how it is to hang with the wrong crowd. I know how it is to sleep around and whore around and shack up. I know how it is to do a whole lot of things that's unpleasing to God. Because once upon a time in my life, that's the way I lived. I didn't care nothing about God's word. I lived JT's word. I was stupid. I was young, dumb, and full of calm, as the old folks would say. Oh, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I done as a child, but when I became a man, I put away those childish things, and I couldn't become a man without God's help. God have made me what I am today. That's why I give him the glory, give him the honor. It ain't nothing that I've done on my own, because if it was up to me, I'd be that same fool living the foolish way that I used to live. This is why I don't go back to what I used to do. God truly delivered me. He didn't halfway deliver me. He didn't just touch me and then the next day I became right back jacked up. No, once God put his hands on me, that's all I needed was the touch from the master. I started recognizing what was worldly and what was sacred, what was holy. See, the real children of God will do things according to scripture, not according to the world. Let's look at these secular churches that's up. So I'm making people mad now, religious folks, because now I want to take your term secular and I want to talk about a secular church. I'm not mad at nobody. The true word of God hurts, it cuts. The secular church, this is how you know when you got a secular church, because that's Satan's church. The secular church allows any and everything to go on. Same thing you see people in the world do, you see these things go on in these type of churches that are secular and it's been going on for years. It ain't no deliverance. It ain't no talking about salvation. You just got a bunch of people who've been going to church caught and stuck on religion and tradition. It ain't who's holy in these churches. It's about who's hoish, who's lying, who's jealous, who's a false teacher. It's a lukewarm church. Anything goes on in that church. What church Bible studies? What church am I talking about in Revelation? That was lukewarm for y'all that kept up with me. What church am I talking about? That's what type of church you have right now when you see these things going on. See, this video is about to hit home for a lot of people because some of y'all know that I'm telling the truth. JT, you talking about my church. I know. People have exchanged the truth for lies. Believe in lies over the truth. If we find something in the church that is contrary to scripture, but is taught in the secular world, then that church has became, in part, secularized. The more we find from the world in the church, the more that church is secularized. 
Y'all let the church say amen. Now let me clear this up because some of y'all are going to say, well, JT, that's why you shouldn't have gospel rap. Mom dancing. That's why these children need to sit down somewhere. They don't need to be doing all this stuff. Let's not twist up what I'm saying. Because let's look at this. We got older people in the church. We have younger people also in the church. And most religious churches will not allow the young people to pretty much do anything at all. Like it's just all about the old people and how they've been doing it for years. What about the young? How can you reach the youth if there is nothing out there for the youth when the streets is getting the youth every day as I'm speaking? See, we want to get mad when the streets get our babies, but we don't want to keep our babies from the street. We rejecting them from the church so they find what they can do in the streets. They turn to the rap videos for help. They looking and learning everything except the word of God. See, JT don't have a problem with gospel rap. As long as it's about the Lord and the lyrics are clean and right on point and they, 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 they speaking of God, goodness, what's wrong with it? People danced in the Bible. People sung. People praised and worshiped the way they know how. How can a child start hooping and hollering and shouting and speaking in tongues and running around the church if they don't know nothing about God and we're not teaching them nothing about God? So the only way they know how to show they worship is through mom dancing. Let them do it. I don't have a problem with that. I love to see young people mom dance, but we rejecting them now. See, I'm not asking you to agree with everything I'm saying in this video because we got so many holy than thou folks that's not going to agree with what I'm saying. They don't need to be dancing to, to a Dwayne Woods song. He, and the Dwayne Woods is a gospel artist. They don't need to be dancing to John P. Key's song, Life in Favor. And you see these children crying out for help. And all we want to do is, you can't do this in my church. A person that say my church, I don't want no part of them or their church. We want to go bad on these young girls when they start stripping at the strip club and sliding down the poles, revealing their they body to every man and sitting in their lap, doing lap dances. But when they wanted to dance for the Lord, we wouldn't let them. Got them, mighty. Now you want to say they dancing for the devil. Now you want to condemn them and put them in hell because now they stripping. My brothers and sisters, this is a way to do everything. We have to teach them. They have to be taught. We so busy condemning everybody that it's more condemning than teaching. Uh, I don't want them playing Kurt Franklin in my church. No, I understand that. To me, now just my opinion, Kurt Franklin do get a little carried away with some of the stuff he do. But at the same time, I can sit here and say, Kurt Franklin has reached so many young people. So many young people gave their life over to God because they saw what Kurt Franklin, who used to be so messed up, and now that he's glorifying God, people still got a problem with that. Just like everybody don't agree with everything JT do. If you see me doing a video talking about sex, all sex, fornication, looking at porn, most religious folk are going to say he can't be a man of God because I'm addressing issues that you want when you know well that the people in your church, in your family, on your job are fighting with everything I'm talking about. And how can we help somebody if we don't know what's wrong with them when it comes to this stuff? Look like everybody dealing with it. People that's married that ain't getting none from their own wife, men creeping out, masturbating. We have to address what's going on. I don't know about y'all, but if, if y'all didn't know nothing about me, how could y'all help me? I need that one to say, JT, I know what you're going through. I feel you. I done been where you at. Like I can call many man on the phone. I know where you at, brother JT. I've been there. I've done that. Let me tell you, let me tell you about my experience with that. By many man telling me that's gonna help me. Many man ain't condemning me. So when we look at this whole thing about secular people and holding and dial people, who is better than who? See, you can't even sit, you can't even say people in the church are better than people in the world. Secular churches. 
I had I had a young man ask me the other day, JT. He was about 15, 16 years old. JT, why won't they let me do my gospel rap in church? I'm not cussing. He say, JT, brother, this is the only way I know how to express myself. I write. I do poetry. I write poems. I want to recite my, my poems. I want to do my rap for the Lord. That's the way I know how to do it. I'm not as old as some folks. I don't know about them songs they sang because I wasn't born then. I've heard of some of them, but I want to express my worship to the Lord. They singing and running around the church and speaking in tongues and, and dancing. Why can't I just simply rap my song? And I had to look that young man in his eyes and tell him that it's sad the way folks are. They don't want to hear that rap. Yo, they don't even want to hear your gospel rap. But when the world gets them with the gangster rap, Man, boy, y'all better walk with me in this video. I'm, I'm fired up. When the world gets them, we, now we too busy talking about Jay-Z, Kanye West. Oh, all that gangster rap. We feed, we done fed into the children's mind. And when they wanted to do their simple little gospel rap inside the church, you turned them away. See how we run folks off from the church building? Boy, I done went somewhere in this in this video. I can't help it. I'm just I'm just speaking. So be careful with this word secular because you got secular churches up. These so-called jacked up, watered down, fake Christians ain't looking too good like you think they are. When you reject God's word for man doctrine, your church is no longer sacred. It's no longer holy. It's no longer respectful. It's not spiritual anymore. It's fake. It's jacked up. It's a house of Satan. So take that name off the front and just put up, this is Satan's house. We welcome you. Because ain't nobody in there getting delivered. Ain't nobody speaking the truth. You got people going in there the same way, leaving the same way. See, I'm God, I thank you for just putting this in my mind. I got a problem when I go to folks' churches. Oh, come to my Bible study, JT. You want to invite people to Bible study, but you got to be careful with what's going on. In Bible study, I see so much confusion. In Sunday schools, I see so much confusion. When you start using books, I'm about to really piss some folks off now. When you start using books, Instead of the Bible, when you putting a book in a way that's taking out what Jesus say, you are getting away from God's word. Some of these books and Bible studies now, so many people in Sunday school and Bible studies are so busy talking about the commentaries, which is what somebody else say, that they done got away from the Bible. God Almighty. Now, don't get me wrong, it's okay to use books that assist in Bible study, that exist in Bible study. I didn't say be over the Bible, assist. But the Bible should be number one, the central source of spiritual truth, not books about the Bible. I hope I'm, I hope I'm teaching somebody something. If Sunday school and Bible studies are using guideline books more than the Bible itself, then you don't move the Bible into being the secondary position. Because now it's not about what Jesus say. We're going to use the guidelines. Such and such wrote this. This is one of my big problems I got in Sunday school when I Heard people always want to talk about the commentary. Let me read my commentary. This commentary will say this. This commentary will say this. And after a while, you got confusion. The house of God is so full of confusion right now. You got sacred churches and secular churches. We see a lot of people leaving the buildings. And I don't blame them when they go. Some of these buildings need to be towed down. They do. When you see a church with everything out of order, 
when the Bible says do things in what decent and in order. When you see the Bible says in all I will get, not some, get an understanding. It wasn't talking about getting an understanding on mess. When Paul said we need to press toward the mark, toward the prize of the higher calling, Paul wasn't talking about pressing toward mess. We got to get an understanding. That's what God wanted. When you see these pimp preachers begging for money, when you see this homosexuality all oh, in leadership, come on, y'all, walk with me. When you see all this out of all the stuff, you see messed up people who won't repent, jealousy, you see envy, you see hatred, you see preachers against preachers hating on each other, out of line choir members, building funds, we've been, we've been trying to take up buildings for them, and they ain't never going to get the building. No repentance, no love, no teaching of salvation, not addressing sin, messed up deacons and fake prophets, then you don't see God at all. See, some of y'all mad at me again, JT, God, Lee, JT, you talking about my church. I'm talking about getting right. I'm just warning you to come out of confusion. This is not of God. A secular church is not of God. But a sacred church, a spiritual church, is all about God. It's all about God. I'm just here to warn you once again about these secular churches. That's why some of these church buildings in Hollywood look just alike. When you turn on the TV, what do you see now? Mess, fussing, confusion, a whole bunch of reality shows. We got to keep up with them, keep up with that. You see a bunch of gossip. I can't stand her. She can't stand him. It's all messed up. A ball of confusion. Like the old temptation songs say. Ball of confusion. All this mess. The churches that I'm talking about like this look the same way. Let me get a little bit real before I close. You don't even have to turn on the TV and see this. Gossip and all this mess. All you got to do is just walk off in some of these churches. You'll see the gossip. You'll see who can't stand who. You got a you got a, a, a better thing looking at church than TV now. You'll get more out of looking at these jacked up church buildings than a reality show. But thank God, not all churches are like this. Let me leave that alone as I close. My brothers and sisters, if you never meet me and never see me, you ain't lost a thing. But if you don't come into the knowledge of Jesus and meet Jesus, then you done lost everything. Thank y'all for listening. You know, I had to just go on and take it there because we have to tell the truth. Once again, it's not what we know that hurt us. It's what we don't know. I love you, even though some of y'all gonna say, JT, that was too rough. It's all out of love. And I want you to come out of it because I want to see you in heaven. I want to see, I want to see you in heaven. And I love you that much to tell you the truth. That's why I love you. That's why I tell the truth. Because I love you. If I didn't love you, I would do like a lot of people and teach you a lie. I don't want God holding me accountable for lies. I want God to, to say, faithful servant, well done. So once again, y'all, peace and blessings to y'all. Y'all take care and have a beautiful day. Peace.